Maybe you should. <laughs> a little empowerment once in a while would do you a world of good. And it's a new century, Wilma. I mean, you don't have to lie there and have your eyes closed and recite the multiplication tables to yourself. Teach a pair, pair of spurs and ride that bad boy. <laughs> talking about such naughty things when, you know, poor old Mr. Gibson's dead up there. Yeah, it's a fucking shame. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you see, it happened suddenly. Uh, well, that's a blessing. <coughs> yeah, I took the pillow off his face and, um, uh, <laughs> he was blue. His eyes were bulging. His tongue was swollen. You know, it really took the air out of my balloon. Mm. Yes, yeah, I was holding it there, and, and well, uh, I think that's why I didn't know he was dead until after the fact. Oh my God, you're holding a pillow on poor old Mr. Gibson's face? Oh, this is this little bedroom trick I picked up. You see, when you cut off the air supply during sex, it intensifies this orgasm. Oh, uh, ten times over. I mean, you and Bernice should really try it, and it works. It's fat. a lot of times, and I've never lost anybody before. I mean, one guy went into a semi-coma, semi but, you know, he had asthma. I found out later. See, now I always ask beforehand. But you didn't notice anything. I mean, didn't you see Mr. Gibson struggling or waving his arms? Mm, no, I couldn't wave his arms because they were tied. <laughs> His arms were tied to the pillows. Oh yeah, and his legs, you know? Spread eagle is the technical term. <laughs> you tied up, Mr. Gibson. You know, there's this unpleasant moral tone creeping into your voice. I mean, yes, I tied up Mr. Gibson. So do you have a problem with that? Oh my god, the poor old man! He loved it, are you kidding? We were having a blast until he croaked. Say, Janice, if I had known beforehand that you favored such uh, strange and unsavory practices, I'd have thought twice. Now, when you say strange, hmm, these are common sexual techniques familiar to any modern American woman. I mean, don't you ever watch Sex in the City? Hmm? I guess I have lived a sheltered life. <laughs> but I can't believe that smothering someone while you bounced around on his privates is a popular form of a play, a foreplay, even in New York. Oh, all right. Pillow thing is a little more exotic. I mean, that is something I picked up on my own when I was a hooker. <laughs> you, you were a hooker. Oh, an escort. I mean, I had my own phone number. And it was just this youthful phase I was going through. I'm, I was just supporting my drug habit. <laughs> drug habit? A small one. It wasn't heroin or it was just a little coke here, a little crack over there. But I kicked it no sweat when I was in prison. <laughs> you were in prison? Yeah, but I don't like talking about that, because that was this bullshit charge. I was practically innocent. And anyway, my cellmate, this very lovely woman, she helped me get clean. And since so she was sort of this rather sort of lesbian, I wound up repaying her in dribs and drabs. I learned a lot about myself in the process. I have no regrets. Well, I, I, had, I had no idea you had such a colorful past. You see, that's my point. If you'd taken the time to get to know me, then you would know what kind of a man to set me up with. This is very tricky business, bringing people together. If I had known you were just kinky, perverted things like that, I wouldn't have set you up at all. We obviously travel in wildly different circles. Ah, everybody's into things like that, Boma. Everybody but you. I mean, you think your precious Mr. Gibson was some kind of altar boy? He's the one who tried to, he's, he's the one who wanted to get tied up. I mean, he's the one who brought the maraschino cherries. And you know what else he did? 
No, please, tell me. He took out his teeth and he gummed my toes. <laughs> being married to the same guy for 26 years, doing the same boring thing day after day, never getting on top. I bet you don't own a single piece of rubber latex. <laughs> no, I don't. See, so you're hopelessly out of the loop, Wilma. I should set you up. I know a couple of guys who could really bros blow some fresh air up your schmata. <laughs> for price, of course. Yeah, um... I appreciate that chance. I do, but uh, I'm perfectly happy the way things are. Yes. Mm. It's your life, Shirley Dimple. <laughs> oh, I think it's time to call the police about Mr. Gibson, don't you? Yeah, I guess I should go up and scrape the candle wax off him. <laughs> Yeah. I would love to hear more about your lesbian experiences one day. <laughs> I'll get my pillow. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>